And if we talk, now 500,000 they go summer house, call them hate speech. But fear not, my ego don't come. In go touch light every corner, nooks and cranny of all these bad, bad people where they spoil our country. <laughs> so my people make we love Every corner. Okay, some people be they hala say they want the power. Chai. Them be promise us say we go get light and power. Nah, nah. Them hustle so they so they they can't get the power. Hmm. But now they know they do anything with the power. Sheer. Every day dollar just they get the higher power. Over naira. See them talk say make we off mind. But thank God say my ego don't come. So my people make you loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. No one may person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man do they talk. He do they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they take money in buck. One man picking, they the street, they hawk. Still, them talk, say, make we not talk. But thank God, say, my egun don't come. So my people make you laugh. Like oh, yeah, yeah. Killing of innocent women and children and men for that matter all over Nigeria, especially in the northern part of Nigeria. We are not happy, we are not pleased with what is happening, and that is why we are here today. As you can see, there are a lot of Nigerians um, who are protesting about the killing of families, people who are determined to tear the country apart violently, and it is not something that we support. It is not something that we would like to see continue, and we are here today to send a clear message to the Nigerian government, to the High Commissioner, that what is happening in the country is unacceptable, and we cannot accept it. If that continues, it will lead to the violent situation of the country. There will be no more Nigeria for anyone to go to. There will be no Nigeria for anyone to refer to. In fact, what is happening in Somalia today will be like a tea party. So we cannot allow this nonsense to continue. Something has to be done. And the consequences of the actions of terrorism in Nigeria must be driven home to the people. So that even the terrorists themselves will be able to understand that there is no money to drag a government. The only thing they can accomplish is the breakup of Nigeria. The best thing that they can cover people, the best thing they can force people to be, to be coerced into a religion which is not theirs, then they are clearly mistaken. We are asking for peace. Good evening to you, good morning to you, good afternoon to you from wherever you are watching from. This is Mayegun live and thank you so much for joining me. Uh, yeah, share the broadcast, invite your friends, tell them that Mayegun is live, of course. And I believe you have also read the news about uh, the released uh, Boko Haram terrorist. Well, they have uh, released the uh, 1,009 repentant Boko Haram terrorists rehabilitated and they have returned them to Borono and that would then make it a total of uh, 7,000 and I mean sorry 7,473 released capture I mean catch and release system of Bokuari and the same in that same Nigeria, Bokuari, who kidnapped 
Mazin Namdikanu from Kenya has established so far, torturing him and then, uh, you know, forced him under their own uh, DSS uh, Daura Secret Service as we speak, going through all manner of uh, inhuman treatment, as we have been told. Why that is going on in the name of trying to protect one Nigeria? Terrorists who killed people and continue to kill people. Terrorists who have formed their own caliphates, who have their own territory in northern Nigeria that the northern politicians, the elites, they know about, the people, they are getting pardoned without facing any court, just any court or any trial. That is part of the injustice that continue to fuel and fund the campaign for the breakup of Nigeria. And as this is ongoing, Northern Nigeria and those who speak for them continue to grandstand. And in fact, they continue to tell the South that you can brag, you can shout, you can scream, whatever you want to say. We will be the one to decide who becomes what. How is that fear? That is where the South should begin to think right now, purpose of this broadcaster today. How does that make sense? People who have killed people and continue to kill people. 19 people here, 35 people killed there, 40 people killed in Benway, 50 people killed in Zamfara, 20 people killed in uh, this, you know, all of every day. But whenever they are caught, by any chance, they, it is just a catch and release arrangement. How is that fair? Mazinam Dikanu, somebody they told you to eight, especially if you are from the northern part of Nigeria, someone who once stood out there championing for the safety, asking the government to stop this jihadist from executing innocent people, because what would be the end result would be that the rest of Nigeria will become northern Nigeria. And that is exactly what is happening. Ten years after that, it has become worse. He was there asking for your safety, your protection, caring for you 10 years ago. But they have made you believe that uh, he is your enemy. He is somebody who just wants to wipe you. But yet, no single incident of uh, or any record of any attack in any part of northern Nigeria that you will say oh, is linked to IPOB or is linked to ESN or is linked to Mazin Amdekan. But you possibly hate him more than you hate Shekau. Because to some of your leaders, Shekau and gang, they are fighting, they are just, uh, they call them human rights uh, activists. That's what they call them in your part of the, uh, you know, the country. How is that fear? How do you make people live with that when you locked Mazin Amdekanu up and you, are attem you attempted to kill Sunday Igbo or because they said they would defend themselves against uh, the Fulani terrorists that your government is releasing? How then do you want to conv let me convince a Southerner that this government does not know anything about the terrorists? How? And I told you, I said, just wait for it. Tifnumbu is going to be their traditional, I mean, sorry, it's going to be their sacrificial lamb, I mean, sacrificial goat. Somebody came on my show and he said, why do you like to deviate and talk about leave Tinumbu alone? And I'm like, oh, Lori <laughs> Boo. If you are watching me right now, if you know you are one of them who told me that, I should leave Tifnumbu alone. We have names for you here, okay? The Lagos Abobakus, the Oshobu Almajiris, the Ombud Slave, the Obedient Food, the Sophisticated Moron. That's what you defend. But this is why we won't leave Tifnumbu alone. Three times, this terrorist and his gang, Malamu and Co., they tried to make Bokwari presidiot so that he can do exactly what he is doing for them now. Three times, he failed. On the fourth time, the Jaga Wiri, the Jaga Addict, Jaga Bandit, the Jaga Madman of Lagos, he saw an opportunity because after meeting Good Luck Jonathan, who gave him a, uh, ah man, Tifnumbu, they will sacrifice him. I will, I will be here. Uh, you see, it's just few, few, few weeks, few months away. Do you get that now? The reason why we won't leave him alone is that 
after I mean when a good luck a Billy Joe Lantan was looking for an ally in this uh, in Southwest it was Steve Numbu he went to in 2011 it was Steve Numbu gave him almost a 1.2 billion dollars dollars oh, no be naira oh, dollars just for Steve Numbu to re to to you know to spread his tentacle in Southwest uh, ACN to be whatever they want to be as long as they let him win Southwest. So that made uh, them believe that if Numbu is so strong, it's, uh, you know, that arrangement gave them the eye neck. So he saw an opportunity that maybe he himself could, maybe he can even be a president. What if he collabo with the terrorist and deceive his people and let them believe that, you see these people who want to go and meet, eh? they are just going to complete Yara Dua ten or four years to complete it. So the power will come back to the South and me, if Numbu, I will be the president. That was the permutation. That was the arrangement. You, you know the long story. They changed him. Eventually, they told him to go and bring uh, the fake pastor Ruga to come and be his, uh, to come and be the deputy to the tyrant, a dead dictator that they brought to life because of greed and selfishness. They told us. So they told us in Yoruba land. We're going to get a good schools. We're going to get good roads. We're going to get electricity. Our youth are going to get jobs. Those who have no, who are graduate, who have no job, will be paid employment allowances. They will pay the poor people money. They will, uh, you know, take care of the aged. They will do this. They will do that. Blah 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 blah. They shall drag Yoruba into it. They said Boko Hari will be fighting physical war with the terrorists. Pastor Ruga will be fighting spiritual war to defeat terrorists. They said when Boko Hari, they said think or Shibajo votes Boko Hari. That's how they dragged Yoruba into it. Thinking that they will be in control of that government. They didn't know that they were dining with the devil. So they changed him. Eh? Removed every of his son from their party. When it, uh, and he ended up, he ran away. When they needed him again for 2019, they brought him back. Made him look relevant. What did he do? He jumped at it again, like uh, by, uh, monkeys who jump at it by a banana. Believing that maybe this is a new opportunity, he presented his, his demand. What were Tifnumbu's demand? Tifnumbu demanded then that uh, they should give him the party chairman of APC. And they should let him be in charge of the party. They said, well, fine, good. If that's what you want, go on. What do you want to bring? He brought Oshiomoli. Oshiomoli became a businessman that you know his story. Last last, they kicked Oshiomoli out after they got their second term. They kicked Tifnumbu himself. They kicked him out. What did they do? They appointed one of them as the caretaker chairman of APC. And until when they are ready to choose somebody else to be the chairman. So your Tifnumbu right now is not different from the same lap dog. Those who are just hoping that maybe something will fall. But all of you are seeing him as somebody who is the president. Then somebody said, we should leave him alone. They brought in terrorists. Those who are now killing us, kidnapping us. How can we leave him out of it? You see, the wrong that he did to the Yoruba people, he did it to himself too. He can't even talk. Do you know how many of these things that we can say in public, even though they are ready to, to, to arrest us or to kill us? Tif Numbu, your lion Tifnumbu, eh? Paper tiger. They know born and well. So most of these things, he can only discuss them inside this corner of his bedroom. He cannot boldly come out and say he never thought Yoruba land would become this. What was he thinking? When he first told us then that uh, Bokwari is a divisive, I mean, it's a divisive personality, somebody that would divide Nigeria if we ever have any chance to gain uh, power. Now, they misjudged. Bokwari is dealing with all of them today. Now, you are looking for 2023. Some of you, they told you, let us endure. You are a Yoruba man. You are watching me now. To you, I don't like Tifnumbu, which is true. I don't like him. But you like him, right? And do you want to know the truth? They lied to you. Now, they are thinking that they have a saving grace. Bokwari has destroyed all institutions, all of them. To the point that anyone, even if you manage to get anybody from the South to be your president in 2023, any of them that attempt to change what they have planted there, 
they are changed from whatever they told him not to change or to, to, to touch, then you witness a coup. So last, last, it's going to be from Frank Pan to fire. Meanwhile, they are not taking chances. That's what they said. They are not taking chances. You are dreaming of 2023. They are dreaming too. You see those guys who said they are placing a bounty on Mazin Amdekanu, 100 million. And a few days after that, they kidnapped Mazin Amdekanu from Kenya. And then you know the rest of the story. Those guys are out again. And they are very, very clear. And I think you may listen to them and laugh, but you have no idea of those who are speaking through them. But you will find out very soon. Listen to this and tell me what you can make of this before we continue. That will balance our four years before we go into rotation. But we are not asking for, uh, like you call it, um, uh, third time. No, we are not asking for third time. Nobody asks for third time. We will never ask for third time. We are democratic. We believe in democracy and we are practicing democracy. That was why we said politics is a game of number and we know we have the numbers. We are 120 million population from the north. Then the Fulanis have 40 million in population and if you put that together that will give you 160 million and you can out of the approximately 210 million as in being envisaged the population of Nigeria. When you take 160 million out of 100, 210 million, what is the balance? About 70 million. I cannot see how 100, uh, 160 million, uh, I can't see how 70 million will beat 160 million. So we are ready for it. We believe in democracy. We are democratic in nature. We know politics is a game of number. We know politics, speak, leadership is by ballot box. Leadership is by PVC. Leadership is by election. And that was why we are calling our people to come out a mass and get their PVCs. The 120 million northerners should get their PVC. The 40 million Fulanis should get their PVC. Put together 160 million. We will elect another president by 29th of May, by February next uh, 2023, we should be going into election to elect a fresh northern president that will balance the remaining four years that not has. The northern consensus movement has called on all 120 million northerners and 40 million Fulanese that are eligible voters to ensure they mobilize towards 2023 general election and jettison on democratic leadership rotations in Nigeria. The group Northern Consensus Movement therefore stated that there, there is no amount of grandstanding propelled by the threat and intimidations either from the southern governors and some sociocultural organizations that can change the remaining outstanding balance of four years' presidency tenure for the North. Southern Nigeria took the mantle of leadership for 14 years. By the time President Muhammad Buhari will be finishing his eight years, uh, two term of eight years, North would have served for 10 years, South, Southern Nigeria would have served for 14 years. If we are talking of equity, fairness, balance, and togetherness, then Northern Nigeria still have four more years to go before it will now be equal of 14, 14 years. But nobody can um, um, twist us from the north or intimidate us or harass us or coerce us to think that by grandstanding or intimidation we will abandon our four years just because some people are threatening the peaceful coexistence of Nigeria. Northern Nigeria has a population of over 120 million people. And by this press conference, we are asking all the 120 million eligible voters from the north to come out a mass and get their PVC and also begin an aggressive but peaceful mobilization of our people to get ready for 2023 general election. We are also using the medium to call on to our 40 million Fulani brothers that are Nigerians to also reach out to every Fulani man that is eligible to get his PVC so that he will be the part 
of deciding who becomes the next Nigeria's president in 2023 as Nigerians that have equal right with any other Nigerian. And like we all know, in the United States of America, the Britain and other parts of the world, most especially in, in America, election of who becomes the president is determined by number. In most cases, most of the president of America are from North America because that is where the vote comes from. But in Nigeria today, we have forgotten credibility, we have forgotten about patriotism, we have forgotten about nas nationalism, we have forgotten about love for each other. All we are talking about is tribe, religion, or region in terms of leadership. We are not looking at qualification. And by that, we are being intimidated that because the present leadership of Nigeria is being led by a northerner. We are being threatened that the power must shift to the other part of Nigeria. And we are saying that we still have a balance of four years, even after President Muhammad Buhari left in 2023. By May 2023, we still have a balance of four years. And we cannot be intimidated. We cannot be harassed. We cannot be coerced by either the governors of South South or any social cultural organization into leaving our mandate or jettisoning our mandate because of harassment or intimidation. We are saying that we must complete the balance of four years to make it 14, 14 years from 1999 till date. Southern part of Nigeria would have, ru have ruled for 14 years. The North will complete it four years to make it 14 years before the issue of rotation, uh, rotational presidency will come. But for now, 20... Just forget it. Are you from the southern Nigeria? You are? Okay. Maybe you should listen to me. Some people have been telling you there is, that uh, there is no clear explanation about how to break up Nigeria. It's because they are not listening. They are telling you that you should register to vote so that if more people register to vote, you can, what? You can stop them from rigging. You have no idea. These guys, they understand what they are talking about. And let me tell you something. When it comes to this leadership issue, eh? they don't give a damn about APC. They don't give a damn about PDP. The moment they choose that they are going here as they have chosen now because they are scared of what they have used the power to commit, the crimes they have committed against other Nigerians. They don't trust any other person anymore. Right? Now, you see how they do it. Any party that presents a northern, one of them will come out in the north. It doesn't matter where it comes out from. Okay. And as he continued to use 120 million, 120 million and 40 million, <laughs> you might think he doesn't know what he's talking about. He does. Only you, probably not really eh, paying attention. You are missing the point. What they are trying to tell you is that, number one, you will think if uh, all the northern, all the people in the north are 120 million, that means. There are some tribes that are actually majority in northern Nigeria and they are not Fulani. So if he now says they have another 40 million Fulani plus that 120 million, all bogus numbers, okay? What does that tell you? It tells you that even he talking, a Fulani man, eh, he is a minority in northern Nigeria, but he is speaking for the rest of the north. And he said, let's say population is 160 million from the north. That leaves the rest of us in the south. It leaves us with uh, 50 million if we have to use Nigeria population. Now, does that then mean that if you have 160 million people in a place, all of the 160 million of them are eligible to vote? Of course, you would think as a southerner, that is impossible. But he knows what he's talking about. Children will vote in northern Nigeria. Desert, sand, ground, I mean, you know, uh, stones will vote and their vote will count. You see this thing, uh, what's it they call it? Pam Canel. That Pam Canel, eh? 
they use it to thumbprint, to thumbprint, to thumbprint, to thumbprint. Palm kernels will vote and they will get all their 100 million they want. And you know what they are doing to you? As long as Malamu is your minister of justice and Tanko technicality, Babala Wefe, is your chief justice or anybody they brings for you then, what will happen is this, they will use the numbers. You see that thing they couldn't do to bring Bokwari to government three times for 12 years they tried. Every, every election then, no, 2003, it got uh, 12 million. 2007, it got 12 million. 2011, it got 12 million votes from the same place where they are writing it for him. And INEC from that part of the country, they know they have to give it to him because the interests behind him are the jihadist movement behind him that are in the CPC. But when you come to the down south around that time, that three times, there were Yorubas who are CPC members. There were Igbos who are CPC members. All of them went there because to become somebody in Nigeria politically, you have to go to Ida Mina eh, to get the blessing. Or you go to Shokoto to see the Shokoto Caliphate for the blessing before you can go and represent your people. So you can go there and bring the party. You just, people, Yoruba people, they, go, they went there, they brought a PDP. Yoruba people, they went there, they brought APC. Something like that. But no one of them could make him president until Amechi brought the money. Tifnumbu brought the thugs. And then the coercion, the violence to get Bokuari in. But they did. And the propaganda too. So what that simply tells you is that as they believe that they are more than you, they can manufacture number anytime. And if you think that guy is the, is the one talking nonsense, Abi, listen to this, uh, this clip. It's about three months old. A representative from Adamawa, listen to her view when she's defending something that she wanted to promote for her constituency. And, you, and listen to what she used as an example and see how they actually see the South. And that is why you see that 2023 you are looking forward to. Eh? You can dream on. But watch this first and the response that follows. Thank you, Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues. I should be representing Adama Central. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, I count this moment a privilege and a great honor to lead the debate on the general principles of the bill for an act to establish the Federal Medical Center, MUBI, Adama State. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, MUBI is one of the oldest Nigerian towns. MUBI is the capital of MUBI North, local government area of Adama State whose total landmass, according to International Journal of Development and Sustainability 2014, is 506.4 kilometers kilometer square. Uh, this, together with the population of Mubi North, makes it 2,089,540 people, very much higher than Bayasta states. <laughs> Bayasta states eight local government area with a population of 1,740,000. One Senator Dixon, Buenos Aires. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, and my distinguished colleagues. I am Henry Seraki Dixon, representing Bayelsa West. Mr. President, ordinarily, I would not have risen uh, on account of the presentation by the distinguished senator who led the debate for the establishment uh, of this institution. Already, I've been here for about three months and I've seen the pattern coming from my background where we uh, administer scarce resources. But I've seen the pattern where institutions are proposed and uh, the Senate discusses it and then follows the process through. So I'm not ordinarily opposed to this, even though I know that uh, three weeks or so ago, our dear colleague, distinguished senator, who led the debate, who is the main sponsor 
of this bill also propose a bill for the establishment of a medical facility. So, uh, because we are dealing with scarce resources, my question is whether there is no possibility by which some of these can be can be merged for effective utilization of scarce resources. But however, the reason I have stood up is because of the very erroneous reference that she made to Bayelsa. And sometimes this is out of ignorance and it becomes a pattern. If Mr. President will ask distinguished Senator Benani, what is the basis of the population she's talking about? A 40 Nigerian population that is not verified or verifiable. We don't know who con conducts it, who verifies it. And sometimes it's as if we are in things fall apart of uh, Shinra Achebe who says those who in Nigeria are fortunate that their yams are roasted by benevolent spirits should not forget to be humble. If we had a military president who had powers to create local governments, no one in this Senate, no one in this country will be telling Bayelsa that we have eight local governments. In my senatorial district, it will take me four days to go around my senatorial district. In my local government, Sabama, as governor, if I had to talk, it took me three days to go around. The size of Bayelsa is bigger than three, four times from state in this country. The physical landmass and the water bodies. I just thought I should rise up to enlighten the sponsor and by so doing the rest of the country. That when people talk about population, we should be careful. Because if you go deep into it and you ask who conducted, who verified, what and what are counted? Where are the houses? Where are the communities? Who are the residents? And how justifiable, with all due respect, is that the debate and the submissions in these hallowed chambers must be based on verifiable facts. So if anyone is standing up here, because she could very well have made that case without reference to my answer. She alone referred to figures of population which are not verifiable, the basis is not explained, and I was only rising up to enlighten and to contribute. Better Jari, is that not what they say? We are 200, when you say population of Nigeria is 200 million, it's not verified, and it's not verifiable. Are you with me? Normally. Census, when you want to conduct census, census is conducted state by state. Now, people will get state to conduct who live in their state. So that when you go to the record board, eh, you'll be able to know how many people are actually living in these states. In northern Nigeria, eh, yes, they have the landmass. You know that, Abby. When you, when you join, when you match them with the middle belt, they look so big. Let me show you what the map of Nigeria is. So that you can see where is northern Nigeria. Where is the middle of Nigeria and where is the south? Okay. So when they say north, north, you see those yellow area and those green area at the top, that is northern Nigeria. You see that blue that entered it right there. They are the areas that you will call the middle bed. They are not northern Nigeria. But when they want to draw their map and when they want to, when they want to talk, they consider that everybody in this place, except if you are a Yoruba from this side, or if you are from, uh, if you are uh, a Biafran from the other side, or you know what I mean now. So they consider that everywhere here or up there is uh, northern Nigeria, which is not true. Are you with me? So nobody conducted any verifiable thing because you know why? Now it is the number that they use to share the resources of Nigeria. So they created states for themselves. They created more local government for themselves. They created more senatorial districts, more uh, 
constituencies for themselves. And there are no people there. Oh. So they will just come. They will tell you, my local government, we have 2 million people there. So what they just need to do is that when their INEC says, we have done voters registration, yeah, they will tell you, Borono states that they have two governors so, in Borono. One is Boko Haram governor. One is a Nigeria governor, Zulum. You get what I mean now? Two governments. They have two governments in Borono states. When Boko Hari released 1,009 Boko Haram terrorists eh, yesterday, he released them to Borono, to the headquarters of the caliphate, the Boko Haram. Are you with me? So as much as uh, 24 local government areas of Borono State are in control and command of terrorists, as you are watching this video, they continue to deny it, but we'll see how long that will take them. 24 local government of 27 local governments. There is no government, there is no Nigeria government in those areas anymore. They are controlled, managed by the terrorists. People are paying taxes to them right now in Borono. But wait for INEC to announce the registration. They will just tell you, 130 million Nigerians have registered. Wow. 130 million. 80 million from northern Nigeria. Wow. And when they say the northern Nigeria, you won't see that much number in the middle belt too because they don't trust the middle beltans anymore. So the number will be coming from the places like Borono, Warthorn area, the places like Niger, Niger State, places like, uh, you know, Shokoto, Kano, Kaduna, all these places. Millions, millions, millions. You'll be saying, who they vote? They say, ah, the Northerners don't joke with registration. You as a Southerner, are you joking with it? Okay, you don't vote. Okay, fine. You don't want to vote because you shouldn't. It's a waste of time now. Now they have smart, they have they are smarter enough now that they have their planted to G here and there who are ready to do their bidding. It is going to be about deal. And they will bring in another northern president in 2023. They will just have to look for either Igbo vice president or another Yoruba vice president. And you see those uh, those hungry. Hungry lions from uh, from the south. They will jump at it. No be appointment. All of them they look for. They will jump at it, right before your eyes. For the first time, you will realize that APC will score one million in Imo State. APC will score two million in Ebony. You say, hey, two million for president in Ebony. That's all they need, just to make sure that they win a boy, they win a emo, and they have people there. They don't need to win, no. I'm not saying win, no. They will write it, Abby. And then they will control all of you who want to have your voters card or not. They said that you should transmit results. Another way that you should know that a 2023 is a done for, right? Another one. They said they were doing... Uh, amendment or no amendment to their constitution electoral act so that uh, once you register there will be a record that you register to vote so they will know how many people register to vote right then uh, on the day of election as the, as you are casting your vote and they are counting the result they will transfer the result electronically uh, to their data uh, to their data bank story now all of you where they read too much book they listen to Oshimbade. They listen to other motivational speakers telling you that uh, you can change anything if you try to do it right. Meanwhile, right way they are asking you to do it is controlled by them. Now, a government that has brought this so much division, so much destruction, so much, uh, you know, bloodshed, and you see they are not even abating. They are not slowing down. The same government is telling you to see Mazinam Dikano as a criminal. And you agree with them? The same government attempted to kill, attempted to kill uh, Uluye Sunday Buu for asking the Yorubas to stand up, put your heads together, 
ask for what really is yours and stop, you know, begging them to leave. That's all he asked us to do. He could have easily just live his life like many of you right now watching me, managing your life, your families, you know, spending your money and all of that. But he visited his community ransacked by these Fulani terrorists. Bokuari that is releasing terrorists. Look at this guy. Probably is one of those released now. All right? Mahazinam Dikanu was never caught with a gun. Oloye Sondegbo was never caught uh, committing any crime. But what happened? They are asking you to sacrifice anyone that tried to speak for the South while you watch them celebrate terrorists and you can't do anything. And right now, they think they can actually get away with a lot, but there is something that will be done. Imagine this guy. Well, begin in Zamfara State, where a shocking revelation was made earlier today by a 30-year-old notorious gun runner, Shehu Ali Kachala. In his confession, Mr. Kachala said a military personnel gives him cover to deliver arms to criminals in their hideout. The suspect says he has sold 450 rifles, as well as 8,000 live ammunition to different criminal gangs in Zamfara, Kaduna, and Niger State. The Nigerian citizen who has been in Nigeria supporting bandits with weapons says he has been importing weapons from Niger Republic for the past three years. Theophilus Darufai reports. The influx of weapons into Nigeria has contributed to the spread of insecurity in almost all parts of the country. Many still wonder how criminals have access to deadly weapons to perpetrate evil, but this 30-year-old Nigerian citizen says he imports weapons from Niger Republic through the assistance of a military personnel who gives him cover at security checkpoints. According to him, he has sold 450 rifles, 8,000 life ammunition, and other deadly weapons to criminal groups in Zamfara and other states of the Northwest region. He made the confessional statement when he was arrested by troops of the Federal Intelligence Investigation Bureau in Gusau, the Zamfara state capital. He used to import the guns from Niger Republic. There is a military personnel who usually give me cover, especially at the checkpoints. I sold 450 rifles and 8,000 live ammunition to different criminal gangs in Zamfara, Kaduna and Niger states. According to him, he developed interest in the business because of the high profit and turnover. He says he gains nothing less than 300,000 naira on each rifle sold, but the profit usually depends on the type of rifle. I sell rifles between 600,000 to 1 million naira, depending on the make. I also sell ammunition at 1,100 naira each. But guess what? It's probably released now. You know why? Because their spiritual leader, Sheikh Osama Gumi, right, doesn't really think he's doing anything wrong. When you, ask, when you ask a battery of questions, how do you expect me to convince you? Let me step one by one. IPOB, IPOB is attacking the police, is attacking the army, is attacking INEC, government institutions, killing our men in service. And the hacksmen are kidnapping children not to kill them, to get money. So how can you compare somebody who's killing our gallant men in the armed forces directly, attacking them, to somebody who's kidnapping children to make money, not to kill them? Look, we, have to, we need some fairness in what we are doing. Does that make any sense to you? When they tell you, to join them to crucify Sunday Igbo. The question you should ask yourself is this Who has Sunday Igbo hot? Who exactly that Sunday Igbo? Or who exactly would you say Mazi Nam Dikanu hot? But you have seen it, you have read it. 
you saw how they were butchered, massacred, broad daylight. They are still doing it. Joe Igbokwe, he gave an interview to BBC Pigeon. In that interview, he confirmed that Nigeria military has killed over 400 young Biafrans in within just two weeks when they clamped down on innocent people, especially in Imo states. I have told you about that, and I told you that when you talk about unknown gunmen, unknown gunmen, the unknown gunmen you have are those people they are freeing right now. They are releasing, giving them military uniform, giving them guns in order to set up the people of Southeast because they needed something that will give them chance to go ahead and kill the Igbos. I told you then, you remember? They are the unknown gunmen. The Daura Secret Service. So they want us to kill, to be killed. Why some people who will eventually, you know, they enjoy it. Just kill them, give us money from the South. Are trying their best just to make sure that these people shall love them. Or what do you make of this from a governor who once said this as a way of protecting his own people? The headsman, where they are. If you destroy any farm, will you pay? Leave when I got farm. And if you kill their cows, you pay. That is a number of community must, must pay them. If they destroy your farm, they will pay you. And they be, it will be happening. If for any reason somebody dies, it's a police matter, but if our people is killed, they will pay 500 while the police continues the action. If there are people the scale, we also pay 500,000 and Everybody is trying to placate them. When our people is killed, they will pay 500,000 naira. How much is 500,000 naira now? That should be about 800 pounds, right? Or a thousand dollars. <laughs> Imagine when they kill like 50 people. They will just bring how much? $50,000. We are sorry. We are sorry. It's just some fights. It's just some clashes. You know, they, they, they didn't allow our cows to pass. And they, they started fighting us. And that's why we just killed the 50. All right. Yeah. $50,000. $50,000 a life. And let me be honest with you. That is a solution that uh, a governor sat. They discussed the resolution that he was so confident that this is it. This is the solution. Once I tell our people like this, that's it. There will be no much anything so that there will be, if they kill you, eh, we'll go pay you 500000 no worry. Sure you get. No, but if you kill them, we'll go pay them 500000 When the people should be going after the criminals, but they can't. They can't. That's how unfortunate it is. So let's go back to the issue of numbers. What They did something today. Something to tell you as a Southerner. That stop wasting your time. Stop believing those who are trying to tell you to acquire, to maguire, to perspire, retire, to require, or whatever they are. Those motivational speakers. You see those ones that will tell you that uh, they started their own uh, building or what do you call it? Construction business with just a bag of cement and uh, three pairs of uh, blocks or something. You know those motivational speakers that started bakery? With just one slice of bread and uh, and so don't let them tell you lies they said people like us are too crude we are too blunt and because we are we you know there's no editorial for all let me see there's no editor that is going to have to look into what i say or what i don't say free word free speech free word right that is why they said our messages sometimes get some people so my messages actually get people so uncomfortable sometimes 
especially those who love to be pampered with uh, lies, laced with uh, some facts, but uh, shut up, patch it with lies. They want to be lied to. Tell them that uh, you think something is going to, you know, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be, they just want to hear that. They know it's not going to be fine. But I don't belong to the category of people who will do that to you. I'll say it the way it is to help you, to help me. How do you decide who lead you and change those you don't want to lead you when you don't have a say in that? The only thing that makes you think your vote counts is this. Eh? When, they, when those who are from your path, once, once their own uh, arrangement is settled, for example, those who wants to be governor, those who wants to be this, be that, once uh, the arrangement is settled, they are ready to trade you off by lying to you how much they love you, how much this arrangement is for your own interest, how much they, they, they dream of uh, blah, 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 every four years, right? Because they have taken care of them. But at the end of the day, when, the, when you now vote or you pretend to have voted and they emerge to you, Vote, the vote counted. Ah, the vote counted. But you're just helping them to validate they are, are jealous, those that will be representing them to keep the oppression of you so that they can speak your language. They can look like you. They are not people you are going to say, oh, he's, he's dealing with us because he's not a Yoruba man. That's why he's doing this to us. That's all you do. Now it is time to put a break to it. Because those figures are so fake that somebody like that guy that I played to you earlier should never, ever be talking if the arrangement is clean and clear, genuinely. But it's rigged. And you have no control over it. Here, this pastor captured um, it better. I've mentioned the economy. I've mentioned culture. You've got to go into politics and government deliberately. By the way, if we don't fix some of Nigeria's problems today, that is this INEC problem. I've said plainly, INEC, put me in trouble if you like. It is a fraud. The numbers in Nigeria, as far as census are concerned, and as far as election is concerned, are a lie. And if nobody will speak up about it, the righteous should speak. And our righteousness is not of ourselves. It is of him, and he will protect. Hallelujah. It is important. It is skewed now so that where the numbers are, are not properly reflected in our voting. This is the only country in West Africa where you move from the ocean to the desert and the numbers decrease, or rather, they increase. The only country, it's the only country in the world where you move from a large body of water to little or no water and the numbers increase. It was not Nigerians that started it. It was the parents of Nigeria who were not good parents. They were not good parents. The, the man, Lord Lugard, was a, a devil incarnate. And what he did to this country, we're suffering it many years later. And it's time that we must tell the truth. It's time we must tell the truth. It's absolute. We must. And those of you who benefit from the system, when the judgment comes, unless you extricate yourself in the righteousness of God, that's your own problem. You understand? And if you're in the system, you should behave like Robin Hood. Take from them and give it to the poor. You should have less so that they can have more. I have that sword in my office. The sword of Lord, Lord, the, the, what's his name? Lord of Loxley, Robin Hood. Why? Because part of my job is to make sure that the wealth of Nigeria is redistributed with an evenness. How do you do it? Not by giving the poor rice and oil at election time give them an education and education in today's age does not have to be formal we have tablets we can do research and development and create curriculum and a lot of things that can be done but as a southerner you can think like that as northerners no 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 they have another four years and if you don't give them the four years forget it I would also invite the president of Aliwa Traders Association to make one or two comments. He understands how to speak um, Fulani. I don't 
know how to speak Fulani language, but he understands how to speak Fulani language. So he, he will speak and call on the Fulanis to please come out and do their PVC. Get their PVC and get ready for 2023 general election. I'm are you following? They know what they are saying. They know what they are doing. Many, many of you are just possibly thinking they are just joking. Right before your eyes, it will happen. And they will have a reason to justify it. I don't know how you feel. And I don't know how you feel before the, uh, maybe, you know, if, uh, from the beginning of this uh, broadcast. But think about this. A government that criminalizes activism, right? And glamorize, I mean, glamorize and reward terrorism. That government doesn't have any legitimacy to start with. If people are really, really thinking. If you have National Assembly, maybe by now, he and his vice will be in jail, including that uh, Kenneth Shatabandu. <laughs> but, well, Nigeria is not a country. It's a caliphate. A caliphate that Southerners are not really... Uh, they, 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 are, they are fighting to comprehend that, to, to actually accept it. Or you're going to accept it. Or you're going to fight it. You get what I mean now? To stop it. So, a rigged arrangement that makes uh, an activist a criminal, but a terrorist, a hero or something, a misguided young man who just chose to start killing and killing and killing people for the sake of it, right? Then when he's caught, ruin people's lives, destroy communities, send people to IDP camps. That borough, no state, they are sending 1,000 repentant terrorists to. That borough, no state, eh? Over 200,000 of people from borough, no state, they are in Ninja Republic. Ninja is a country, by the way. And you know that the total population of Ninja Republic eh, is just 22 million. Eh? Ninja Republic is a country. Ninja Republic. And these are the people who are, that you call the 37th state of Nigeria. So how does that make you feel? That if you ask or speak up for anything, you are considered an enemy of uh, Boko Hari. And as an enemy of Boko Hari, you are considered as enemy of Nigeria. You are not considered as a citizen who disagreed, who wants something better. I want to talk about it. You know you are not. And they're saying it to your face, right there to your faces. I don't think I would be comfortable with that just as I am not. But my message to the Southern is this. Very easy. You can tell yourself now that you are walking into a trap if your politicians are telling you that uh, don't mind them. We are going to fight it out. You are not fighting anything out. Nothing. They know what you are up to. They would rather work with two, three of you, four of you from here and there, give them whatever they would like to have, and they will just deliver their own state and give them the number, and they will tell you. You will be wondering, how did that happen? Because according to them, even if, you, if all of you, according to them, oh, the entire southern Nigeria is just 50 million people. All of us in southern Nigeria. Fulani are telling us that uh, we are just 50 million. It's like when you even combine all of us together, we are not even up to the Fulani. That's what they are telling us. Fulani, 3 million people. 3 million people. But according to them, all Fulani from West Africa, all from Africa, they are Nigerians. And they are asking them to come and register to vote now. So when we begin, so what should the South do? Be resolute and stop deceiving yourself about 2023. Or else you are going to be, you are going to be trapped into, your politicians are going to be trapped into an arrangement of validation. They will have no choice. They have nothing to fight with. But now they can still save themselves. I mean that. 
put up your resolution, change that resolution about uh, anything to do with voting or no voting. Because you know what? And this is actually where I get worried. Let me tell you, let me show you something. They voted uh, at the National Assembly today that maybe they should include electronic transfer of uh, election results, right? Then some people now, they have to put it into a vote. All of the APC senators, all of them voted no to electronic transfer of results. Except for those who didn't appear. Yoruba senator, Yoruba rep, Yoruba this, all of them who are APC. They all voted no, that they should not transfer result, election results uh, electronically. Because that won't make it easier to rig. You get what I mean? Even if you delete them. If you try to change it, there will be digital prints. People can retrace whatever you deleted. Do you get what I mean now? And also, it will also make INEC accountable. This time around, INEC will have to present or produce their data, what have you. Something that they said they didn't have the last time. So they will have to. So APC, already they've already rigged your 2023 election to make you believe that well, maybe if there will be one at all, then you have no chance. You stand no chance. They all voted. Look at this. Let me see if I can bring that up. I don't know if I can read them out enough, but if you can read them, join me. You see, those who voted there, yes. Those who voted, no. So when you see senators who vote on electronic uh, transmission of election results, so those who voted yes are PDP. Uh, or, yeah, or another party. But all the APC members from Northern Nigeria, from Southern Nigeria who appeared at that uh, voting, they voted no, 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 no. Because that's what their party told them. If they had voted yes, They'll be working against their party. Even Tifnumbu cannot tell them to vote yes. But again, it's just about the rigging, isn't it? Hmm? And that is what they are trapping you into. People told you that uh, they could make them change it and amend the electorals, this and that, stop uh, underage voting and all of that. You have no say, no control over it. Once you take it to their National Assembly, they will shut it down. That's why they are there. So the Southern Nigeria should not take anything to that side, to that National Assembly just like that anymore. A resolution about how to break up Nigeria should be the resolution. That will then make them begin the process of uh, knowing how to let go. Make that happen. That's what we should be talking about. That's what we should be doing. That's what I will be doing if I have a chance, not listening or pretty much allowing charlatan like this to run right. I would also invite the president of Aliwa Traders Association to make one or two comments. He understands how to speak uh, Fulani. I don't uh, know how to speak Fulani language, but he understands how to speak Fulani language. So he, he will speak and call on the Fulanis to please come out and do their PVC. Get their PVC and get ready for 2023 general election. I am speaking for the North. This is Northern Nigeria, as you can see. Northern Consensus Movement is an amalgamation of 75 economically inclined Northern organization. And when we say 75 economically inclined, it suggests to you that this, as we are seated here, is the economic heart of Northern Nigeria. This is the commercial heart of Northern Nigeria. The organizations here are the ones running the buying and the sellings, the transportation, the movement, and everything that you know that is full of good and services that is of Northern to any other part of Nigeria. This is the structure that is responsible for that. Here, you just heard from the president of Ariwa Traders Association. When you hear Ariwa Traders Association, you know what trading it means. Trading means anything buying and the selling. And then you have the amalgamated cattle dealers of Nigeria. When you hear that, it means anything that has to do with cattle, from cow, goat, sheep, to chicken, as far as it is something that is worth eating in the name of meat, it is amalgamated. You just heard 
from the Gan Alla Fulani Development Association. And who are the rearers? The cattle dealers are the ones that buy the cattle and transport them and sell. While the, Gan the Fulanis, you know very well, are the ones that rear those cow, sheep, goat, chicken, and anything meat. And you just heard from them. And you also have the Arewa Journalist Forum here. They speak, uh, they carry all the information that we are. So everything that is buying and selling as far as northern nigeria is concerned is here you have the groups of comrades apart from the economic bodies of that are members of here you have the educational body you have environmental body you have a woman body you have everything that constitute you have you, you have a woman here who's representing all the northern women that are here. so this is a northern structure we speak for not we don't just speak for ourselves we speak for north because we are northerners and we believe in north that is number one number two i am not term we never ask for any third term we will never ask for any third term the president of nigeria has made it his position clear that he is a democratic president and he believes in constitutional democracy he is a man of rule of law so he will not bridge the rule of law what we are saying is northern nigeria has four balance of four more years we are going to present the north will present a candidate that will balance our four years before we go into rotation but we are not asking for uh, like you call it um uh, third time. No, we are not asking for third time. Nobody asks for third time. We will never ask for third time. We are democratic. We believe in democracy and we are practicing democracy. That was why we said politics is a game of number and we know we have the numbers. We are 120 million population from the north. Then the Fulanis have 40 million in population and if you put that together that will give you 160 million and you can out of the approximately 210 million as in being envisaged the population of Nigeria. When you take 160 million out of 100, 210 million, what is the balance? About 70 million. I cannot see how 100, uh, 160 million, uh, I can't see how 70 million will beat 160 million. So we are ready for it. We believe in democracy. We are democratic in nature. We know politics is a game of number. We know politics. Speak leadership is by ballot box. Leadership is by PVC. Leadership is by election. And that was why we are calling our people to come out in mass and get their PVCs. The 120 million northerners should get their PVC. The 40 million Fulani should get their PVC. Put together 160 million. We will elect another president by 29th of May, by February next uh, 2023, we should be going into election to elect a fresh northern president that will balance the remaining four years that not has, because the southern part of Nigeria has already ruled for 14 years. We are, have only 10 years. We have balance of four years. We are going to vote in who becomes the next president to balance our four years. Then after that four years, we can come back to negotiating table and begin to discuss rotation and then that time we will agree from where the rotation will start from either from the north or the south wherever it was agreed as at that time no problem but for now we have a balance of four years and we are going to work towards ensuring that we i hope the lagos abobakus are watching lagos abobakus <laughs> probably are telling themselves don't mind him he's talking nonsense i'm not the one who said it i told you that uh, it will end in tears right you see that time for tears is gradually building up. You know, when they when they give you this one dirty slap and you want to be a big boy, you don't want to cry. And you are like, <laughs> hey, you are beginning that you are still pretty much at that stage of. <laughs> so when you get to that stage when everything will just, you know, sometimes you won't even have to cry, but the old teardrop will just be like, that time is coming. I am only telling you that you should be paying attention step by step, way by way. Before now, when Oshiomoli, Adamu Oshiomoli, when he was running riots for Tifnumbu, then Tifnumbu believed that last, last, eh? 
Oshiomo Ole was helping him to build a party that is going to take over in 2023. Now, she, your journey to 2023 now. Nobody say, Kalo Kalo now. Is it not, is, has it not turned to Tete now? Eh? Has it not turned to EJ, UJ, EJ, UJ? Something that you said is already in the pocket. I'm not your enemy. I'm only trying to tell you that uh, if you listen to me, we can reduce the number of tears you are going to cry. You can abuse me. Any many of you abuse me all the time. Do it. Enjoy it. You know, I talk about Tifnumbu, even though you shouldn't be abusing me because I've never been in charge of those who, uh, you know, either write any law for you, sign any contract or execute any contract or pay any salary or hold your salary or steal your money in any way before. But you may not like me because I'm telling you that I can save you from the tears. You are going to cry. Like, you need not be say cause you're going to cry. The journey to that uh, teardrop is what you just listened to right now. But you see, some of you that you have realized already that they have uh, scammed you to come out of it is so tough. But you can come out of it. We no go beat you. Nobody go beat you. Just, just tell your accept the truth now. The whole thing don't enter Kalu Kalu. Because you know what? These people that told you that Atiku or Atifku is from Cameroon, eh? they will line behind Atifku. If they have to push anybody at all, oh, they will line behind him, Abby. And guess what? There are many, many people who believe that Atiku is their friend from the south too. They will say Atiku don't promise them say now four years. You see all those people who won't kill themselves before now, eh? They will be friends again. And you, you, who think you are smart enough to let that happen, you will still be the victims of what will happen then. But you know what? These ones don't even trust anybody. They don't trust anybody from Cameroon. This one from Ninja Republic is doing the work. Bokwari from Ninja is doing the work. It's like the Mr. Punisher who came to punish everybody who thought they were smarter to bring a lifeless Bokwari to power. You get what I mean now? So if you are from Lagos, Lagos or Bobaku, or if you are from Oshogbo, where uh, Aregbe Mugbu Baba Kabiru is your former governor, the Aregbe Jegbisi, Aregbe Wuli, Aregbe Sunli, Aregbe, Aregbe Juli, Aregbe Jegbisi, Aregbe Mugbu Baba Kabiru. Imo. You remember that Okmoimo? Tablet is Okmoimo. He defrauded them that uh, people were dancing to him. He was paying them half salary. They were dancing to him. They were dancing. He would dress like a school, a school kid. Defrauding them. Last, last, eh? In history of Nigeria, 60 years history, Oshun State became bankrupt. A whole state became bankrupt. Imagine you becoming bankrupt. That uh, when they want to pay your, whenever they want to pay your pension, that money goes to your bankrupted account. Imagine a whole state. There was a time that a whole state, Oshun State, they only collected their 60 naira or something like that. Maybe not 60,000 naira or 60 naira. After they deducted all the Gbesi, Aregbe Jegbesi, Aregbe Mugbo, enter them or drag them into. Omo Oshun, they are watching me now. Some of them are, hey, 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 I know, I know. So if I had no, they know. But well, we know. They deducted their, you see, they had, you know, this allocation, fine barra that they have dragged all of us in Yoruba land. They drag them to in Abuja every month. Fine barra, fine barra. That fine barra said, no, come. That was a month, that was actually like a few months that they, they didn't pay them anything. This. Ah, you're basically too much. You we're only giving you this balance just in case if you want to enter taxi or anything. 60 naira. A host it. Go and check it. It's online. Go and read about it. So they don't like me. But I'm telling you, see, eh? That tears. That tears borrow, borrow by. Eh? We'll be here waiting for you. So before the tears enter, anyway, sha. No kuna talk to all your leaders. They can still save themselves. You see all these jackass? Eh? They will hit all of you to bone. They will kill those they will kill among you. And if you continue to drag it with them, eh? You will see. They will send those they will send to exile. Ikene Shatabandu. That retirement they promised him. Eh? Maybe in a Zungeru prison. He will spend it. They will accuse him of something. They will lock him up. Those of your leaders that are, they will run away. That's why everybody's just saying, man, make this madman just go. And he's not going anywhere. Pick up the phone and dial the number because I said I'm going to open the line tonight. Mazinam Dikanu is not a criminal. 
and we continue to demand for his uh, immediate uh, unconditional release. This should be things that the South should be able to put together and say, let us harmonize, let's put our ideas together. These guys are going to deal with us. But all of you still parading yourselves as governors, you want to go for second term, you are trying to be smarter or clever by half and all that, it will cut up with you. Honestly speaking, nobody will be able to save you from it. From your own greed and selfishness, I will say, I have my first caller. Hello, uh, Hello, can you hear me? Hello, yes, sir. Yes, I can hear you. Beautiful. Uh, your name, please. My name is Steve. Steve. And I'm say? calling Steve. from the United States. How are you, Steve? Can yes. you hear me? I can hear you. I'm good. I can I hear you Beautiful. really good. Please go on now. Yeah. Thank you. Um. It is very clear to all of us now that um, Nigeria is a scam. Hmm. And um, like we said, we always look at the North, like um, they are stupid people who don't know what, what they are doing. Hmm. But it's very clear to all of us now that they've been a master planner. And we are the stupid one. We from the South. We from the South that claims uh, Niger Delta and claims uh, this is from the east and this is from the this is from uh, the west. Mm. We are actually the stupid one. You see the way they unite and rally uh, um, around their people. We are talking about these northern people who are being killed by these terrorists. These are the people that are still. Um, releasing these terrorists. They are free. If you look at it... Right before our eyes, oh, and I think it's only us before the south. It's like it's all of us from the south that are really complaining, you know, honestly speaking. I don't see them complain that, ah, why would you release 1,000 when they are still killing us? They are not complaining. I can't see it, oh. They are not complaining in any way. Hmm. Then they want us to bring our own people so they can sacrifice, sacrifice and them. we are doing we are doing a very good job giving them our own people to sacrifice why they keep their own people hmm. you see how smart they are like you said at the end of the day tinibu go learn tinibu go learn he go learn at the end of the day tinibu go learn let me don't just uh, take much of your Thank time you so, so that much, other people Steve. can uh, yeah. contribute, my brother. Thank you very much for your but time. Let me take a go land. Mm -hmm. We go see now. No Thank you so day. much. Now here we did now. Good day, eh? Uh -huh. Let me take another call. This is not a wish. He brought uh, insect infested uh, firewood into his house. And this is the payback time. But we can still, you know, we can still recover back by pulling together and pull a defense enough and say we will not sacrifice anybody to one Nigeria anymore. Mazi Namdikanu must be released unconditionally. Imagine that's out. Make that position. That will change the entire conversation. Did you know that? But we are waiting for those who will make that bold move from the South. We are still waiting. Hello? My ego, this is uh, Tunji from Plum State. How's, how's it going? I'm very well, bro, sir. Um, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Well, I'm fine. You are live, TJ. Okay, you see, uh, my contribution is, um, you know, these people have master planned. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you remember, Wari tried three times before he got into power. That's right. I think he has his own plan from the first time that he has been refused the ticket until when he joined um, Tinumbu. And they gathered all these parties together mm -hmm. and he became president. Mm -hmm. His first days in office took him like six months to nominate a minister. So he has his own plan. He was just doing everything that he has to do. Now, these guys are master planners. Mm -hmm. But we, the Yoruba, we always believe we are master planners when it comes to politics. But I'm telling you, we are rubbish. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at it very well, they were too, the guy was talking about PVC. They hold the PVC in their hand. Now, the South, you want to come and get the PVC. If you are 70 million, they will give you 10 million. Mm -hmm. They will tell you to wait 
that you know the P- PBC will come, but they have the PBC and they will shortchange you on PBC. They will shortchange you on everything. They have positioned themselves it in everything. See, so TJ, if you move to another so position, it's so easy, right? TJ, it's so easy. It's like me sitting down here, right? And I'm like, I have four group of people, and I have 100 donuts to share, right? Now, out of that 100 share, four yeah. people. I should just make it 25, 25, 25, 25, Abby. That's equal. Exactly. Now, if two people equal, join yeah. together to make their own 50, that's their own cup of tea. If three join together to make it 75, good, Abby. But you know what they do? They will just say, you see all of you who are, three of you are here. Now, only 25 you have. Oh. But you see this particular one person, if he be one, oh, but he has him be one, is worth 75. And the three of you have to go and 75, share 75, exactly. How yeah, do you use, use yeah. 25 to fight 75? How? You see, all these people that have not joined this agitation now, mm-hmm. you see, these people are ready for everything. I'm telling you, even if we stop the agitation now, mm-hmm. these people will help us to break Nigeria. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. because they will refuse everything that the South come up with. Mm-hmm. And what they want to do, even that guy is all over because he was... Talking about 160 million or uh, 70, but they don't give you 230. Uh-huh. But you see, these guys, eh, they have the backing of Wari. Hmm. That's why they have the gut to come out. And, say, and I've been telling my people that Wari will do total, whichever way you look at it. Hmm. Very towards the end of his time, they will tell you they will nominate whoever they want from the south, from the, from the north. Mm-hmm. They can say, oh, we still want Wari. To help us to do the four years. Uh-huh. If they decide to do that, what are you going to do? Nothing. It's nothing. Mm-hmm. We will only talk as so, they are saying. See, but the only thing we can do, that's why we should begin to tell those who have who have the chance now. Some of them have the chance now. They are parading themselves as governors, senators. They, they have the chance now. They are walking into a trap that will consume them if they don't backpedal now and re strategize enough to push a common front as Saudana. Same way they are pushing one north. Mm. You get what I mean? We'll continue to push that. TJ. Yes. Thank you so much. Let me let me take Thank another you. call too. Uh, yeah. So I have uh, another caller. I think that's connected. Hello. My ego. Yes, ma. Yes, sir. Ma. Ma. Hmm. <laughs> Story of that you are not you. Hm. You wait, 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 no, 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 I want the re, I want re, I want raise, I want more, more. Let them to my decide. Boya wa ma jenyo, aba ni jenyo, ati bata ma jenyo. True policies ni nu ijoba. Wan de mokoton shilo to. E wa wa wan doctors yu wa. A wan wa to je doctors, to je gba to je wo. To ye ko wulo fun wani le, ilo yu bo lo wa ansi. To ti wulo mbe, to ni Nigeria o ni iti wan. O wu ge de. O wu ge de. O wu ge de. Yes, ma. So, uh, sorry for that. Let me quickly uh, give a breakdown of what uh, Mama said. Uh, sorry, bro. Uh, can you uh, hang on for me for a second? Okay. Just for the sake of my listeners. No problem. Yeah, what Mama, Mama called in, she's so happy to be able to call in tonight. She said she's always wanted to call in and all that. She's always been following. And she said, as a parent, that she's, you know, they, they, they were raising children. They were raising us. 
to be responsible to go to mm. school, be responsible, be this, be that, so that we can be productive for mm. our own uh, immediate family, community, and country, country. right? But you know what happened? Those these people who understand power, they grabbed it, mm. right? And here we are. Those who are educated are not in any way productive because Nigeria made them unproductive. She's so appreciative of what we are doing. And she said she's a fan. And let me say this again to those of my friends who are also watching that doesn't speak Yoruba. Mm. Let me say this, right? No, mm -hmm. I'm not speaking to you, my brother. Please hang on there. I'm just speaking to our friends. Right, right no worries, right. my <laughs> So <laughs> now, um, on my ego's diary political, I have a category of viewers who are between the ages of 55 and 85. And it would surprise you. They actually make about 32% of my subscribers, which means I have elderly people who listen to me. They want to have their own voices and they are pretty much comfortable to say in them in Yoruba because I speak Yoruba and I can understand if I could probably speak other languages, many of you would prefer to speak to, to me on them, okay? But when this course comes in, I want everybody to feel comfortable enough to speak to me in the language that you are comfortable with, broken English, English, Yoruba, I don't mm -hmm. understand any other. But again, thank you so much for your time. Sir, sorry for keeping you waiting. Your name? No problem. I this is Prince. Prince. How are you? How are you? I'm fine, Marigun. I'm fine too. How are you thanks doing? Well, thanks for asking. I'm good. Uh, here we are. Uh, still pretty much I'm looking finished. forward to uh, seeing him as in Amdekanu Frit. But here we are. The government of Nigeria is releasing terrorists while they are detaining, arresting, and killing activists. That's what you met us on today, Prince. Talking talking about Namdi Kano, mm -hmm. um, I am watching a live broadcast right now on social media. Right. Um, BBC News Pigeon, mm -hmm. his lawyer, Barrister Alloy, mm -hmm. he's been interviewed. And he's giving an account of the three hours interrogation the DSS had with Inam De Kanu and he was present there. Just now. It's still ongoing. I'm going to follow yes, it. Like, trust me. I'm going to follow yes, it and then like, get my own cut out from that too. Hmm. Yeah. This night, you, you, you've you actually pointed out a lot this night. I mean, it's been, you, you've always, your show is about educating people. My ego. I cannot thank you enough. Hmm. Yeah, you educate people. Even sometimes things we think we must have forgotten, you bring us back. And just like the last caller said, I'm I'm glad the elderly woman was able to, you know, give her own opinion. I, and I think it's important that as Nigerians as well, wherever we are and wherever we find ourselves, and also our people back home, we should be able, because one thing they've taken away from us, my ego, is history in our schools. Mm. Our children don't know history. They did that for a purpose. They, did. they don't want people to ask questions. The Yoruba people will say, um, Tawe knew by the um, Ekuda. That's right. That be So, So, what these people have done, they are clever. We need to start teaching our people, letting everybody know. And this is one avenue which you have created, Mayegun. Some of the short videos I've seen online today that you've played, mm. I tell you, th those things are just like, okay, truly, where did these people? I saw how Sarah and Dixon came attacking, you know, the um, the senator on the floor in the House of Rep, um, as in, on the, in the National Assembly. That's right. You know, what the woman said was not even objective in the first place. Now, you were talking about a, a, a particular area that is even dominated by Boko Haram, where you have where you have IDP camps everywhere. You now compare it to Bayelsa, people fish, you see people going back home, and I want to know if you they keep, you know, investing back in their homeland. Talofelo invests in EBT, Boko Haram is in Jawa. 
You get it? So, my you, you are doing, I'm, I'm telling you, you have no idea of what you're doing, but I tell you, a lot of us will share your program, we talk about your program on so many platforms. I've had the opportunity to share your, your, your program with a lot of people around me, and those people have actually, in fact, I was, I, I was with somebody, he's an elderly person, I was with an elderly person, he's about 70, and he told me that his friend told him about my ego. And I said, I, have, ah, a lot of I, don't I, said, I have a lot of elderly people I, on here. There are I, many. I was shocked. I said, Daddy, my yegu ni mo man bo nye. Te man bo ti mo bo. Oni ye, she my yegu ni ye. Ah, oni ah. Ore mi kon lo so fun mi o. Are you getting me? And ore hon ye is not in Nigeria. So my yegu, honestly, Thank may God guys. continue to be with you. May God continue to guide you. A lot of the things that I'm more saying, honestly, sometimes when you go mo fi, we know. I'm with, oh no, my yegu yon son. Hmm. Oh, do me share and shin into so many things that some of the population tends to say, we don't get our figures yet. Nobody can verify them, objective. of course. And they keep brandishing no, their things all the time. Every they small myself? thing. They will say, no. oh, you know, there are so many now. No. Every small thing, there are so no. many, no. many now. But nobody can verify no. them. No. When I was in Nigeria, I was in Nigeria. I was Maria and Pam settlement everywhere. Oh. <laughs> but you see those people, those trees, people, are, those trees are, are, eh? They are collecting a location in Abuja. Trust me. I know. Thank you so I much. I know. Thanks. You have All a right, good one, bro. Sir. Mm -hmm. You have a good one. All right, bro. Yes, sir. So uh, that's Prince. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting because I kept Prince waiting for so long. I couldn't just, uh, you know, not give him that privilege in a way. Thank you so much. I have another caller, by the way. Hello. Hi, 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 to me, my dear sister. Thank you. Hello there. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, my ego. Yes, sir. Uh, your name, sir? Okay, my name is Kunle Afolayon. My name is from Lagos. Kunle Afolayon. Bro, yes. it's been like forever. I thought I've lost you. I am always on your show every night. I will never I doubt that. Stop. I've never had the chance of speaking to you again. But you know what? Fire on tonight. You and I have a chat after this. Please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yes, sir. Yeah, so I'll reach out to you. Please. Yeah, yes. I good conversation tonight again on Nigeria. The army have handed 1,900 Boko Haram members. So right before our long. eyes, oh. Hmm. <laughs> it was done in secret. The same Bono State Governor that Boko Haram were pursuing like a headless chicken in Bono. Twice they tried to kill him. And who knows? Some of the people that tried to kill him, that killed his orderly, that mm. killed his the, the member of his team, is they will be they will be clothed in white attire, white socks, white shoes, mm. with canopy, calling it the radicalization of Boko Haram members. They do operation safe corridor in the north, but they do operation python and crocodile python dance, crocodile tears. Hmm. Yeah, they they they, they sent killers to Ibohosa or they killed people. Mm. The, 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 the kidnap canal, you know, the injustice and inequality is now very, very clear, like DSTV. Mm. It is clear to everybody, you know. I just, you know, like we all agree. I, mean, I pray that Buhari doesn't prosper. That. I pray that it continues to go other, like Pharaoh in the Bible. We mm. are going to a destination, we are going to arrive at a place, mm. and where at that point, we will all. United, we would agree that it is time for everybody to go their way. You said it. Even all these Tinobu and every one of them. It, uh, at the time, Olishenka was, Baba Olishenka was struggling against one Nigeria. But now he's saying that people have the right to God bless you for life. that. See, for that, for that punchline you just brought into it, uh, Kunle, God will bless you because you are so right. Back in the days, Baba Shoyinka, Professor Wale Shoyinka will tell you, you know, oh, it's not really that bad. We should just, you know, it's about the leadership and all of that. But they too, they know that it is all charade now. That it is not, there's nothing wrong if anybody wants to break away from Nigeria. And those Tinumbu and the rest, like you, like you said, they will join, but we'll wait for them. Continue, okay? Yes, bro. They will join because um, bodies and cabinets, they don't want to say any voices. They don't want to show me voices. They don't want the structure. Every sector has gone to the dog. There is no moral compass for any situation in Nigeria to even speak the, the mm. truth. Mm. 
You know, they say Nigerian unity is not negotiable. It's not negotiable. But we saw the video of the APL saying that they are one seventy million million and the, the, the rest of the country should speak up. Mm. It, is, it, is, it is clear for us to see. The issue, issue, I was reading in, in daily yesterday that Europe yeah. plans to stop selling diesel and petrol cars by 2035. So eventually, this is our food oil. We will still get to a point that it will be used to drink Gary, drink a calm one, to, mm. to mm. find a car for mm. the people. We are mm. still coming to that. My own advice, I mean, like you have always said on the program, my advice is for people not to build expectation towards 2023 election. PVC is, uh, your, our PVC has been invalidated by the distribution of polling units. That's right. That they just gave a year. PVC is as good as Exactly. And only exactly. people know that, and you can't change it. That's what makes it uh, complicated, right? You, what we are saying right now, you would expect people from the south to take it up with them in the north and say, "Well, this is it." But they can't change it; they will shut them down. Let me give you one example, Kunle, for people to know that uh, these people are really, really mad, and no southerner should ever be in bed with APC. Before you go, Kunle, they have four, you, five refineries in Nigeria before these guys came in. They were not working up to up to, I mean, at the optimal capacity, right? Yep. Now, yep. for that five for for six years, they have uh, rendered all the five uh, uh, refineries redundant. They don't they no longer work. Now, Nigeria now okay. awarded two billion contracts from yeah, Niger yeah, Delta yeah. to lay pipeline from Niger Delta to pump oil from there crude oil to Niger Republic, where they are going to refine forty thousand barrels a day you see the capacity of the refineries they have in nigeria before these guys came in we're giving them 250,000, 300,000 capacity a day but they said nigeria need six million barrels a day right but they are getting yes. 260,000 uh, bar i mean 260,000 uh, liters a day from that refinery mm -hmm. zone now it's producing zero now they are they now awarded two billion to lay pipeline to a 40,000 capacity refineries in Niger Republic paid for by the Niger Delta money. Yeah. <laughs> shouldn't somewhere. we be raging? Like normally, economically, shouldn't we? Right before our eyes, they are also, they are going to borrow money to $1.97 billion to construct a rail line train rail line. from uh, Daura to Maradi in Niger Republic. Maradi. So if they tell you that uh, you shouldn't dream about 2023 presidential election, who are you to tell them they don't know what they are talking about? Who, who are we? Absolutely. It's planned. It's planned. Recruiting voters for 2023 election is to further legitimize election rigging and bad leadership. Just validate it for them. Yeah, so 2023, forget it. We are going somewhere. I pray that Bwali doesn't slow down. I pray that every morning we wake up to something more 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 more, more talk so that at the end of the day just like professor Rolling, just like um the great falano mm. they are all coming to that reality gradually and they are all saying the same thing now that people have the right to demand for a country of their own especially where when they are in a society where there is injustice and inequality that's right. Well, Everybody, no matter breakfast. Okay, thank you so much uh, for your time. Let me take another one. Oh, book well, I'm at the breakfast. As a cotton, I can't come my get here or talk to me. Soon, my bill. Hello there. Hello. Hello, sir. Your name? Yeah, uh, my name is Tunde from South Africa. Sunday from South Africa. How are you? I'm okay, Michael. Uh, how are you too? Well, I'm fine. Thanks for uh, asking. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been calling. I watch your program every night. Even my wife knows. <laughs> so I'm always watching. Hey, is she watching now? You and this your program. Is she watching no, now? She's asleep with it. Oh, is she asleep? She's asleep with my son. Oh, she's yes, asleep. I wanted to say hi to her. <laughs> but yeah, just say me well it. to her. Okay? Because you're alive now, please. I will. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh my God. Hmm. Hmm. We are in the problem. Hmm. I won't lie to you, brother. We are in deep shit. 
Mm. You know, the, our problems are very, very, I, I don't know how to put it, scattered. Yeah. Mm. We still have some cultural attitude as well to work on as Yoruba people. Mm. Hmm. And now we're going to do like, I don't care about any other person. Mm. And those are the, those are the, those are the reasons why we can't work together as Yoruba people as of now. Because a lot of things are going wrong today. I I I, I was on Instagram today, mm. and I saw a celebrity lamenting, and I have to reply him like, "Oh, so you guys are now witnessing what is going on right now in, in Nigeria? Really? Mm. Why did it take you so long?" Mama wa kwe le nkoye onsoro kwe. She said something. Mm. Our parents they were always they always they always they always care about us going to school. We need education. Education is making a bad degree in your country. Mm-hmm. It's not about degree. It's mm-hmm. not about PhD. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what's going on in South Africa too. Yeah. They think education being enlightened is just having degree just and the, yeah, just you the have paper, to educate paper, paper your qualification. Hmm. That is not it. You need to educate your people. Let them know right from wrong. Let them know how people manipulate their minds to do wrong things. We've been ruled by lunatics in Nigeria for a long time. Bro, I, w- I went to Nigeria 2018 and my dad called me. Like, he just called me upstairs, like, wow. come on me. Why, thank you. When you were in Nigeria, when, before you traveled, you always wanted to travel out of this country. Hmm. The, have you seen the future of this country? I said, Dad, I saw the future of this country. I might be young, I might be small. Hmm. But then I used to think, my dad was okay. So I used hmm. to think, like, why is that my dad is fine and people around us are not fine? Hmm. Like, what is going on? The distance between me, my family, and other families is very distant, very far. And we're living in the same area, the same community. And as a kid, you are and wondering, like, like, why is that? Why, did they, why do you have? I was, and they don't. I why, was wondering. You know? hmm. Bro, that was when I said that. I think we have bad leaders in this country. I mean, I won't be part of this. I have to go. Hmm. Honestly, you've been doing a great job, bro. Thanks, man. In fact, this is, <laughs> this is what we need. Hmm. This is what we need. People need to be watching this. I'm, I'm talking about. I'm not. Talking, I'm talking about millions of Nigerians, especially from Yoruba people. Hmm. We Southerners need to be watching this. Hmm. We need to be enlightened. We need to know we are being run by people who doesn't care about. Because us. you know one thing, Tunde, Irai, you and I, we are not in Nigeria. We are not in Nigeria. We are far away from the SARS. No SARS can beat you up, right? Yeah. They are, they are, they are, exactly. what do you call their policemen cannot harass you. Their politicians cannot oppress you. We are far away from them, right? But all these things left undone, where people don't know that uh, elections have consequences, okay? Exactly. So all these things left undone by the politicians, there are consequences for them that will not deal with the politicians, yeah. right? It will deal mm. with us yeah. when children were oh. supposed to be sent to school and not sent to school. They didn't get mm. educated and all of that, right? Now, when mm. the youth who are educated have no economy built enough for them to multiply on and build themselves, and they have to struggle through a rigged system to survive, at the end of the day, many won't. Few will, free would, right? Those who won't survive, but they will still have to live, don't they? That is when you and I become endangered species that is why in fact that is why i'm doing what i'm doing primarily that if we choose to think about ourselves only only for example because you are not in nigeria there will be a day you'll be in nigeria god knows what you have passed through to get to wherever you are right now today now you buy yourself a very nice car build yourself a very nice house and you want to go home just for a break but you see those they abandoned that they abandoned they will look at you. They will blame you for their problems. They will look at you. They will think you are one of those who put them in that position. Why can't we then use the opportunity to tell people that when you choose criminals, there will be consequences. If you stop choosing them, you might change your story. That's why I've started doing what I'm doing. It's not because it will affect us right, I mean, directly, today. But guess what? We just have to do it. Maybe not for our own sake, but for those who are coming behind us to know that Elections have consequences. So when they drag you to a fraudulent one and you you willingly join them, Baba, 
when the consequences come, no be only you go pay more. Your children, children, children. Sunday, you there? Uh, hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, my ego. How are you? I'm okay. And you? I'm very well. Thank you. Uh, your name, please. I'm your daughter in a circle, sir. Oh, great. Great to hear from you again because I'm actually talking about, uh, you know, uh, right before our eyes, Mazin Amdikanu is called the criminal. Having committed no crime except the crime the Fulani said he committed, he insulted them right before our eyes. Yeah. Sunday, Bo, they attempted to kill him, and many, many of our people have been in, uh, have been locked up in detention. And right before our eyes, those who killed, maimed, destroyed, kidnapped, raped children, kidnapped school children, one thousand and nine of them gained their freedom today at the expense of the taxpayers oh. of Nigeria. That's <laughs> Anyway, I saw by I saw this program by I sent a link to my sister to join your join in watching your program. I just sent her a link now mm. to start watching your program. Mm. And um, yeah, uh, to be honest, uh, what I want to capitalize on now is um, an issue which I'm gonna raise. Like I will blame every single one of us here for like we're not doing enough mm. to help this situation. Let's start by, uh, remember that soldier that you brought the wife into this program one certain time? Corporal yeah. Martins, yeah. He's still in detention, yeah. by the way. Yeah, we should. Like, we should do more. Like, after, if you, as you see my number now, after this call, you can send the wife details to me because I would like to be paying that man's salary to that woman every month. Wow. This will encourage the rest of the, the rest of the soldiers that we are there for them if they are there for us. And the rest of our brothers that are locked up in detention, like there are so many of us trying to fight for this freedom and they are locked up in detention and we all forgot them. These are, we're not raising the army now because everybody, like people will backing out knowing that we'll forget them just like that. But if we start taking care of things, like if we, if we can step up, then this war, we raise more army. This war will come so soon and we defeat these bad people and get them out of the way. But if, if you get what I mean, like now, if we can take charge, okay, that compromise, for example, now know, oh, someone is taking care of my family. And the other soldiers will now see, ah, see oh, this man, upon everything we're doing to him, that someone is there taking care of his family. Maybe we should we should turn into a good leaf. So we know that someone will take care of our family as well. And Bwari will have nobody to back him up. I know most of these soldiers are doing this because they believe uh, Bwari is everything to them. Bwari is their last hope. And we Trust me, some of these soldiers are more happy. Some of these soldiers are more happy about things that are happening. Hmm. But what can they do? What can they do? If you see, did you see that uh, video about they were lamenting that they, they were instructed not to go after bandits? Did you see that video? I saw the video, of course. Yeah. That they were told, Things that like that. instructed not to go after bandits. About, after yeah, so they are using their life of, they are, they are using their life, uh, they, are, they are playing with their lives. They, the politicians are using them and they're going to dump them at the end of the day. And by the way, congratulations to Sunday Bo, because I heard he he filed um he filed a report against Buari and Malamu and all that and it's been acknowledged. So I believe uh, those those guys will pee on their pants at the moment now. I know. I know. Yeah, so uh yeah, yeah. Are, you know we one are, thing we you can fighting, do for me. Yeah, we are fighting them all, you know from all fronts, but uh, they love violence because yeah. that's the only thing they can do. Violence uh you know killings and all of that that's the only thing they understand they don't understand diplomacy they don't understand all of that but i believe no, they don't. that will be the last resort in a way thank you so much dot in a second yeah. let me take another call all right, i will you. reach out to you okay. about uh uh mrs yeah. victoria Idakpani, the wife to uh yeah please yeah yeah so God i'd like to take care of that salary yeah mm -hmm. all right cheers man so i have uh another call <laughs> Hello. My good <laughs> Hello. Yes, I met. 
years of course. Uh, you see, you came with your brand of uh, entrance today. It's easier to get. So, yeah. Ahmed, how are you? I'm doing okay. How about you? I'm very well. Thank you. So now you're uh, back. Please. My room, hmm, the thing is getting interesting every day. It is, oh. Bushy, 1,000 terrorists, are, 1, terrorists are at different cool spots in Borono right now. Splashing and you know, spraying the Naira they gave to them. You know, before now, I was talking to one of my friends mm. who happened to still be, we, we, was, we used to be a uh, classmate. So I was, we used to speak real good with him, but you know, He's a full and guy. Almost we we grew up. Almost we grew up together, you know. But you know, I I, I think I joined the military before him anyway. Okay. So, but you know. so I was talking to him. I was having conversation and about Gumi, this, that, that, and he was like, "No, I don't understand. Is it that I am supporting? I could be like I used to tell you. You see, I told you. I said I grew up." In the midst of houses, I was born in the midst of houses. I don't even have, uh, I don't think I have any Yoruba friend if I, if I should check. Maybe, hey. probably when I was in primary school. Well, Most of my friends are, are houses. Primary school, you see? growing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we were having this conversation now. So that I can be your first Yoruba friend. Or you said when you are going yeah, yeah, yeah. to <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. I was like, what do you think about Gumi? He said, eh, you see, Gumi is going to go and teach these people, you know, they don't know about religion. This, this. I say, you see, this is pure madness. For him to come on TV, start saying, I pop, they, they, don't, they, don't, they, they used to kill our uniform men, they do this, but they full of me, they just kidnap. Does it make any sense now? Put yourself in the shoes of those people that their kids are being kidnapped. If you are the one, how would you feel? Does that make any sense to you? You are a soldier, you know what you are going through. Sometimes I even be like, hey man, let me tip you and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Does the system work? How many years have I been out of that country? I am doing okay, but you are still in the same place, you are rotating, and you feel comfortable just because these people are your people. What kind of madness is this? Can't you just think? And this idiot that is coming and saying there are 70 million, 20 million, it shows how how stupid. How dumb. And you know how dumb. Dumb. He kept repeating it. He kept repeating it. He said there are 120 here. He there are 40 million. So all of them go vote to. Well, is it not how they vote anyway? We are live with Babali. Babali, the new boy. How can 60 million. My boy, you are saying that they Ahmed, you know what they say? They said intelligent people are full of doubts. Of course, of course. Foolish of people, course. they are very confident. Yes. You see how they was and that it shows how foolish, it shows how foolish they are. What I'm saying, why you don't want to get on my team, every blog. No be waiting them do for six years that is making them scared to leave the power now. Is it not what they have been doing? Let them continue now. Let's see how they push us uh, to that point. Uh Lameda, thank you so much, Ahmed. APC or PDP anymore. Eh, That's what it is. <laughs> that's what they wanted it to be. That is why they are telling us now that uh, they have 160 or 170 million that are ready to vote for them. So if you chief your 2023 election, President uh, there may score 100, 100 million. He will even, even surpass Joe Biden, President Joe Biden of America. Right? One hundred first time in history. If you go to the US, you most of the president come from the north. Really, open oh, that food. That's, 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 that's what they tell themselves from their different different symposium. Oh, 
you will they he heard that from other professors, oh Baba. He didn't just say it, oh. It's not blabby, no. He heard that from other people that you would never believe they've said it in Ausa when they are in, in different uh, meetings. You know as I'm talking, what I'm talking yeah, about, now, that, but we'll get there. The elite are backing them up. Thanks, Baba. Yeah, but the elite are backing them up. It's just showing. It's left for our southern governors now. So you all speak up on you should stop these guys saying all this nonsense about true federalism, uh, police, uh, state police. You are not, they are coming out. They are showing you people it. that you can't do anything. And make a real demand. They are coming out publicly, showing you people. But still, the Parapamo has still a little. Okay, look. Let me take this call. Uh, nice one, Baba. I have uh, another caller. I am so sorry we'll be rounding up very soon. And uh, in fact, this would be my last call. Hello there, caller. Good evening, Mayego. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. Thank you for your good job. I'm Silva calling from France. Silva. I think I've spoken to you before. Have I not? Today, no, no before not today. you are spoken not to today. me. I mean, on these programs, like on my Egon's diary, have you yeah. called him before? Yeah, more than five times. More than I wanted to be very sure. Silver, yeah. now I remember that yeah, yeah. from France. So, yeah. brother, you are alive <laughs> and you are my last caller, too. Make it count. My my point, my Egon, I want to be very, very, very negative hmm. and I want you to see it with me. Hmm. The problem we have right now in Nigeria, Mayego, mm. is not just Buhari. Sure. The problem we have now mm. is that Nigeria youth are few for the oppressor. Mm. They are support the oppressor so much. Mayego, we are not going to be out of this trouble in 2023 if we are not I careful. Mm. Nigeria youth are so in love with their oppressor. Mm. You see where Buhari go out today. You see yes. how the youth, these are the north, these are the north that is not safe. Me and you know the worst place to live your ex. These are where people gather today. We're going the, the, the evil man again today. Look at the South South. Those who benefited from these evil leaders, PDP and APC, Buari Ding, the Buari Ding, they are queuing with the oppressor. People now What's say, yeah, the so they go, hmm. uh -huh. so they go, oh, you ask too much. Why Mazina, they cannot do this? Why Shore is doing this? But my Egun, we are living here in France. I don't pay hospital B. I only just go to hospital with my card. This is a country where I'm not born. Mm. If I enter train to Paris, I will just close my eyes. Fear, I'm in Paris. That is 200 kilometers. From here to Paris, is 400 kilometers. It's just one hour by train. The locomotive train they keep them there. Nigeria are clapping, celebrating with the millions. Nigeria has, and the youth are killed with this oppressor. Mm. They are telling you, my good, you are talking rubbish. Mm. You are you insulting Buhari. This is not Buhari, this is the, 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 the oppressor will mm. to get power and oppress all that. This make, a, make, a show you something, make a show you something. When you mention train, you don't see where train just, yeah. just come out for, for track, train where they just do. I can't show you so. Train come up for train lane. No, it won't keep people. Train come up for train lane. Thank God for life. I will wait for people here. Go the other side now. See people. See people. In fact, so sorry, dear Silver. Right? <laughs> so they say they are talking that about train. Where train leave the, the <laughs> train leave train track yeah. or enter road? I say maybe the train don't what I'm to hearing the, to the that entire, you know. Hmm. Then, then do you hear the language of the Nigeria? Nigeria, 
the Buari Didiri Fadi, the hopelessly thank God for life. God bless you. See, see, Siva, why are you so like a genius? I was just pretty much waiting for you to talk before I say, did you hear that one, thanking God? Nigeria is a place we are going. Instead of people to know why are we driving on a terrible road that we can die in any time? But they will say, ah, they will go to church and say, hey, help me thank God oh, thank for thank God my for way life. to Benin yesterday. Oh. Now, full, full boss. Now, 30 people day inside. Now, only four of us survive. Oh. Mm -hmm. 26 people plus driver mm -hmm. die. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And everybody will say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My <laughs> So, Do you see Nigeria? Let, let me be honest with you. I said again, may God let our hero that is fighting for us now, not make their labor not be in vain, not the canoes or the boho, shore, and the rest of that. Mm -hmm. May the Afro, their labor not be in vain. Mm -hmm. Because the people they are fighting for, my dear, if you read their mind, you will know that Nigeria don't, some of Nigeria, you don't even need to fight for them. Hmm. Mayegu, these are a bunch of idiots. These are a bunch of fools. Mayegu, as I'm speaking to you now, if I thought that here, yeah, I'm glad he's taking me, taking me straight to hospital, treating me, bringing me back to this house. Why government cannot be lied for 16 years of PDP? APC, I bet, I bet eight years is going on. Bandit is killing. Somebody is defending Buari or Mayegu or Mayegu platform, insulting Mayegu. Are we, are we so dumb? Hmm. I are think we, Buari will teach are, everybody. Are we are we now, wait me, I think be that, oh, Silva. <laughs> Buari will teach everybody sense. Those who are pretty much My don't day. agree now, they will end up joining us. Those who are abusing Mayegu, when they remember everything they have on Mayegu and every other platform that I've told them, that you are wasting your time if you think loving your oppressors because they haven't touched you physically yet that makes you feel safe. You know, you are just like a chicken. You see, when you see the chicken, chicken, my, 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 uh, chicken, chicken seller, that's where they sell chicken. Come put them inside cage, right? When you get there, you say, give me that one. So the chicken seller will draw one, put his hand inside that cage. He will put his head out like this. Then he will just drag one out. So yeah, you like this one? So, Hmm. My ego for years of worry, please. I want to beg you, leave the Western world. Hmm. The, you know what it takes to fix electricity. You cannot tell me you don't know. Of course. Tell me what Buari has done for the million borrow. Billions. We not ask those people, this uh, this Buari team, Buari Didi, the opposite, the Ababa Kush, ask them. Tell me what project. Buari have a hand that will benefit. Now we are taking vaccine free of charge in Europe for we to be able to move up because there's no way you can escape this vaccine. Mm -hmm. Nigeria government is not giving a provision for their citizens. They don't care. Now they're about to start monitoring WhatsApp and text messages. Oh, are you kidding me? Hmm. Silva. Are people don't, they don't ask questions anymore. Hmm. Everybody's living like a blind man in Nigeria. Just coping. People are living coping life. They'll say, Baba, how every? They'll say, we are coping. They are coping. Hey. Mm -hmm. They are coping. Cheigumi is negotiating for banking and making billions of billions. Mm -hmm. Why cannot is just normal business? Why the not are still praising Buari? Ah, my ego, I regret to be a Nigerian city. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Ah, you know what? Don't, don't mind me asking you this, right? Right? Tell me, where are you from in Nigeria? Where exactly? I'm from a I'm from a I knew it. I knew it. Thank you so much. <laughs> you see that time when you <laughs> said, ah, it's like a man. Thank you, Silva, for your time, okay? Ah, people will hear. People will hear him. See, whether they like it or not, people will hear him. You, are you with me? Those who don't want, uh, those who don't want, uh, Biafra, those who don't want Odutuwa yeah. Republic, those who know that they don't yeah. want Bokwari as well, whether not revolt, they will yeah. pick one. And last, last, all of us go meet on the streets when that time comes. But one thing I'm so positive about all the time, and I will continue to be positive about it, is that uh, silver, no matter how much they try, yeah. they can win. Do you know that? 
<clears throat> there is no way yeah. they will conquer the South. There is no Absolutely. politically, yes, they can continue to take advantage of the South until the South put uh, a real front, a real fight, a real pushback. Yeah, until yeah. then, but they can't enslave the South. My ego, my ego. If you watch what just happened, may I, let me use what happened in Netherlands yeah. last week. Yeah. A group of a guy just be a investigator journalist. They shoot it five times on the air from the light in the Netherlands. That was a week ago. Yeah. Police go there, make sure say they capture these guys alive, bring them to book. Nobody go to their house and say there was a gun to it. I killed somebody. I come to national TV I announce it like just evil DS and did to something go. If there was a gun to it, just like that. And Nigeria is so comfortable with it. Me, I never feel we have people die like animal, like Nigeria. They brag about it. They brag about it. It's like a medal to them. It's like a medal for them. They I brag about it. We kill, you, we kill seven God. people in the house. We kill, they yes. kill 28 people inside Mars in Amdekanu's house. 28 human beings, right? They took some of their bodies away. People are very people are very okay with it when they are making this on national television. Because it never happened to their family now. Silver. You don't say if they do it to my brother now, right? The way I would react would be different from the way they do it to somebody else's brother. Maybe I'm different because I react the yeah. same way. But you see, most of the time, yeah. because people they have it hasn't happened to them, they will say, eh, it's just another number. 30 people killed. <laughs> They don't think that those 30 people yeah. are, if you put them like individually, one by one, they are like me. They are like yeah. you. Are you with me? They are like yeah. me. They are like you. They have dream. They have aspiration. Yeah. They have hope. They have expectation. They have things they are working towards. They have people who love them. But boom, 30 people died. Yeah. And everybody move on. Like nothing. My God. 49 people killed. God. Everybody move on. Just like that. 80 people killed in Benue. Yeah. Mm. Boom, just like that. 80 human beings. Just like that. We are live here in France. I never see where somebody shot a gun. I've been here for eight years. Somebody shot a gun in the night like this. Poor. I never heard anything happen. My good the security you will stay around this area. You will be afraid of your life. Hmm. In Nigeria, people will just be dying every day. And Buari is so comfortable. The APC, they are just okay. The APC, they are okay. I thank God I escaped from this, from this country. <laughs> thank you, my good Thanks there. so much, thank you, very much. Uh, you have a good evening. God okay? bless you. It's a pleasure talking okay, to you. It's you. a good one. Thank you so much, sir. Thank God you so much. Me. I mean, sorry, good night. Okay. So that is where we're going to draw the curtains tonight, okay? I would, you know, I would say you should watch this video all over again if you are just joining me. And if you really enjoyed the broadcast as well, take your time. You can watch it all over again. My friends on YouTube, uh, we have over 2,500 of us earlier, but we can only get about 1,000 of us who gave their thumb up there. I think this is the time you can give it. And to my friends who gave me the Super Chat Super Sticker, guys, Thank you. I am so grateful because you see all those pennies, all those pounds, right? They are actually things that goes into what makes my Egun's diary political even better and better and better. It's going to be better. Trust me. And uh, we, um, I mean, we implore the uh, the South, like we've always been asking, harmonize, bring ourselves together, make a common front, push a common uh, agenda, one that indeed guarantees, uh, you know, autonomy for the South and uh, eventual breakup from this uh, poor, terrible arrangement. These guys only know one thing, violence. I know many people are saying that's going to be our last push, but no, it won't really be. But we will do all we can to, to resist them. If they want 2023, let them have it now. If they want president for 2023, let them have the president now. As long as they can fund their 160 million or 170 million north with their money, with their money from cows, their money from tomato and everything they said they were bringing to supply to the rest of Nigeria, they should hold it. Four days, these guys said uh, the food uh, to the south. They said they were not going to bring any food down to the south. They were the losers. But you know, Fulanis don't grow food. There are pastors who don't stay in a place. Aousas grow food. The locals who grow food in the north, and especially in the middle belt, there are those that are being killed by the Fulani AK-47 wielding uh, terrorists. So if they have all that money, 
Why they, they should just elect one of them as president now? In fact, they can let Buhari be their president for life. But you know what? By the time we get to a point whereby you see that pipeline they are laying from Niger Delta, that will be removed. We are going to get to that stage, okay? So the pipeline will be removed. There is not going to be any oil going to Niger Republic. That one is a pipe. Is you will call it pipe dream for Bokuari pipe dream for them in Niger Republic, pipe dream for those who put that contract together, because it's just going to be just a single blast, boom, that's it. It doesn't exist anymore. So many other things that uh, usually they come in to take from the South. Once we take that back from them, we can do that. All we need to do is just to have the common ground, common purpose, common agenda that says South for South, North for North. Power is what they want. They can keep the power, the resources of the South, can serve the people of the South. Those who know how to put policies together, I just gave you an original there. Do it for us, not for us, okay? Do it for the generation coming after us. Don't let our children have to face this. If you don't do it, eh? others would. So thank you so much, everybody, for your time. Uh, go on to my YouTube channel, right? If you haven't really subscribed there. I keep saying that all the time. I don't trust Facebook. Please, uh, I've been able to stay away from their wahala all this while. So they haven't suspended me, but they've made sure that uh, many, many people don't see what I share on my Facebook. Go on to my YouTube, subscribe to it, all right? And then uh, set your notification. I'll see you some other time, okay? Uh, until then, stay safe and good night to all of you.
ni mati se yi to ya ki won se omo bade ro o ni fi won ni ro won fo wo be o ma ye kun o so pe wo o be be won fo wo be ma ye kun o so pe wo o be be oni kan sha ti se yi to ya ki won se ma wa ra ilu to pe won de be o aye aye ko ti de gbogbo oje du e sura ki aye ko ti de gbogbo oje du e sura ki sugba ni ma ti se yi to ye ki won se omo ba de ro o ni fi won ni ro ha ki ma yi se le oro yi ki se fe ki ma yi se le ma <laughs> Ha! Ma ye kuti de